Campano is a nonprofit community art studio that fosters public and participatory art as a vehicle for personal transformation, community cohesion, and social change. At Urbano, we bring together young people from all over Boston and practicing artists to create public art projects and artistic interventions around public spaces. Our work is based on collaboration, social engagement, and transdisciplinary practices. In fiscal year 2019, we worked under the curatorial theme of resilience and sustainability, linking the Boston-wide initiative of building a more resilient city and addressing the challenges of the 21st century. We kicked off the year with two workshops, a video workshop with teaching artist Darren Cole and a film soundtrack music composition workshop to go along with the films with teaching artist and composer Alexander Bartsov. In fall 2018, we exhibited photographs by Samuel Chats in La Victoria, Resilience and Creativity. The photographs tell the story of neighbors in La Victoria in Santiago de Chile whose legacy is community coexistence. Coinciding with the exhibition, Faisal Westcott, Urbano alum and photographer, led a photography workshop on telling the stories of Eggleston Square and how sustainability and community cohesion help a neighborhood grow. You don't know the strangers that you see and to see that they go through the same things that you do. You start wondering about their backstory and what the rest of their lives is like or what led up to that point. I feel like, I don't know, I've gotten a really, like my own experience with photography, just learning from it and stuff. And I do want to continue to do it and expand my experience more. In the winter, Costanza Aguirre was Urbano's artist in residence. Her exhibition, Wandering in the Land of Oblivion, explored how small acts of creation can emancipate and resist dehumanization during hardships like displacement. Aguirre led a youth artist project that culminated in a collaborative exhibition with large-scale multimedia pieces that posed questions about displacement, labor, and identity. In spring 2019, our second artist-in-residence, Chanel Thurbill, explored how we as a society can create conversations about racism. What I like about combining the voice of the person with their face is that you can't ignore or dismiss them. And that's something that was important to me because I feel like the thread that I was seeing as I talk more to different friends who are also people of color about their experiences with racism is that in every instance there was a level of not being heard and not being seen, and that was really frustrating. Thurbill taught a youth artist project called The Promise of Tomorrow, helping Boston youth artists to start the conversation themselves about the experiences with racism and culminating in a collaborative installation. Our summer 2019 artist in residence is sustainable fashion designer Natalia J. Mag. Urbano is exhibiting her designs in Map This Sustainable Fashion. Textile works from Urbano's Youth Artist Project, led by Jen Mack, will be featured in a block party at the Isabella Stuart Gardner Museum, as well as exhibited in our studio space. Urbano is a community partner in the Gardner Museum's Big Plants exhibit. So 
we had an interview and it was around the neighborhood, around like um, the work facility, and we we're asking people if we could take their picture and at, like ask them about their immigration story. I realized like I need to get out of my comfort zone. Like I'm gonna be put in situations, especially when I'm doing art. That yeah, like I need to get out of my comfort zone, start doing things I'm not used to. And yeah, Urbano taught me that. But when I first started Urbano, um, I was really quiet and like very like small and. I just feel like at Urbana blossomed, I guess, and as much as like I can at this like age, um, but also like just public speaking, I'm not very good at. But like once you know your project through and through, um, then you can like really just like say what you're. Like, you don't even need a script, and so you just have to remember that like everyone there cares about you and this project, and they're giving you support, and you just gotta tell them what's up.